let's try a username which attacker is going to attempt so this open quotation okay and actually you can use this but he is not gonna care about the password so he will enter anything okay so this is not even a valid password and he will be able to get the details okay so let me show you so if i click on the continue it will show you login successful hey guys welcome back to the channel so i hope you guys are doing well so in today's session we are going to talk about the sql injection attack it's one of the most common web application vulnerability where attacker will try to manipulate the database by inserting malicious uh, sql script okay so i have created this basic sql injection demo application where i have just uh, created my login page where i will be trying to provide the username and password and will be getting the information from the database and i will be showing you live how you can actually get the data even without uh, inserting any password or incorrect username okay so let's first see the database what i have created so this is the table i have created which has three fields user id username and password and then i have inserted data here rohit and this is the password okay so if you query the user details this is how your database table will look like as of now okay and when it comes to mbc application this is the simple login controller i have and uh, your logic of uh, getting the user details from the database lies inside this uh, user repository okay so if you see what i'm doing is i am simply querying this select a star from user detail where username is equal to this username which is coming from the login page and password and then i'm returning it to uh, back to the controller okay and if you go to the controller okay the first thing we are checking is if user has some value so if it is not null we are redirecting it to the success uh, view and if it is null then we are redirecting it to the error view okay this is the simple view if you say this is your error so it will show you invalid credential and if it is success then it will show you login successful now let's try to log in with the correct credential so virat and uh, our password is virat at the rate one two three okay you can see that let's log in it so you should be able to go through because this exists okay so here you go it has shown you the masses login successful okay let's try with a different uh, username and password so if i put uh, username as virat and then password as let's say virat as well so this password is incorrect right so you should be able to get the login field here you go it is saying invalid credential let's try a username which attacker is going to attempt so this open quotation okay and actually you can use this he is not gonna care about the password so he will enter anything okay so this is not even a valid password and he will be able to get the details okay so let me show you so it will get all the user from the database and then if you are doing first or default it will return you the first user okay so let's see what query it is constructing so if you see the query it is select a star from this and password is this okay let me just uh, view and copy it okay so that i can show you later directly by entering the database what exactly you are getting and if i click on the continue you should be getting you are getting one user okay and that is the first from the database so if i click on the continue it will show you login successful so you have just seen even entering the incorrect credential he is able to get the data from the database now how it will look like in the database so what is happening he has entered this right he has entered this so this part is going to comment everything after this so password will be commented out and then username has uh, this or property okay so this will always be evaluating as true and hence you will be getting complete details from the database so see you are getting both the details so how can we actually fix it let's go to the user repository so the best way to prevent the sql injection attack is to always use the parameterized query okay i'll be just using the link you and show you if you enter the incorrect credential the way the attacker was attempting it will not uh, able to log in you successfully first or default and here we can write x dot username is equal to is equal to username what we are getting from the login form and and condition x dot password is equal to is equal to password okay so let me just run this code and try with the same uh, username and password so let's try this this was the user id he attempted previously and let's put the password as this okay let's try to log in so now if you see i've just put a breakpoint here to see what we are getting inside the uh, user okay so you'll be getting null because nothing will be coming from the database so here you go you are getting null and hence you will be getting message as invalid credential so this is how you can protect your uh, application from sql injection attack guys so we'll meet up in the next video till then bye bye take care